Hello there, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Docker as well as Portainer on Ubuntu Linux. Now, first things first, we are going to connect to our machine using SSH. Um, if you are on Windows and you don't know how to do that, I already have a tutorial that'll be linked up here. Um, but if you're on Mac OS or Linux like I am, we are just going to go to our terminal, type SSH, our user, in my case, I've called it STC, at, and then the IP address of our machine. Okay, so we got that, and then we're just gonna hit enter. It may ask you if you trust the authenticity, just say yes, and then we will type in our password. And there we go. So now we can see we are in our machine through SSH. Now, we are going to head over to the Docker install guide. All this stuff is also going to be linked in the description below. And we're just gonna follow this little tutorial. So we're gonna copy the sudo apt-get update, and there's not really much reason to do that because that's pretty easy. I might've messed up my password. Could've just done one, two, three, four for this. And it may take it a moment. I've never done this on this VM. Okay, and then we're going to install the dependencies for Docker, which are listed there. We're just going to control shift V to paste that in and hit enter. And it's going to ask you which services should be restarted. We're just going to go along with what it asks. Okay. So now we've got that going, and we will need to add Docker's GPG key. So we're going to create that directory, and then we are going to download their key into that directory. Next, we are going to set up their repository. Just gonna go ahead and go with that. Okay. And we're gonna apt update again. Okay. Okay. And then we can see if you're receiving an error, you can fix that here. I'm not, so we are good. And now we're going to follow this command to install Docker their CLI and all the other required things. Okay, we're just gonna paste. Yes, perfect. And now we're just gonna run their test image since that's what they ask us to do. So it's gonna download that image and then run it. And it says, hello from Docker. Okay, now it should have done it, but I'm just gonna run this command to make sure that Docker is enabled on boot and also running. As we can see, it was already running, but let's just run that just to make sure that nothing is going wrong. Perfect. So now, whenever we run sudo apt update and, and sudo apt, oops, upgrade, um, our Docker will be updated along with all of that. Okay, so now that our system is done updating, let's go ahead and navigate to the installed portainer with Docker on Linux guide, found also in the description below, otherwise the URL is here. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need to create a volume for portainer to store all of its data. So let's go ahead and do sudo docker volume create portainer data. Okay. Now, if it says portainer data, that means we have successfully done that. Now, next thing, we are going to copy this command, which basically opens up port 8000 and port 9443 and creates the container named portainer, sets the restart policy to always, and then installs portainer. So we're going to do that. Go ahead and we'll have to run that as root. Whoops. So do sudo and then paste in that command. And then it's gonna download the image. It might take in a minute, it's a bigger image. Okay, so now 
we should have it running. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna have to copy this IP since I'm gonna delete this right afterward. Okay, and then we're going to type in the IP and do 9443. So we'll do colon 9443, right at the end of it, hit enter, and it's gonna complain. So we'll need to do HTTPS colon slash slash for this so that our browser knows that it is an HTTPS server. Okay, and then your browser may show you this warning that is fine and expect it. So just accept the risk and continue. And then we are going to get a setup screen. So we are going to create a password. I'm just gonna do one that I can remember um, because I will have to never use this again. Um, I would definitely recommend doing a much more secure password than what I've done. Um, so there you go. I'm going to disallow this and then I'm going to click create user. I'm not going to save my password. As I said, I'm going to never use this again. Okay. So now we've got this going and then we will just hit get started and that's it. As we can see, we have our container running with portainer and then the hello world container as well. We're just going to go ahead and remove that now ticking that as well. So there you go. Now we just have our portainer container running. It's a bit of a tongue twister. And that is actually it. Okay, so this tutorial is aimed at absolute beginners. Um, it's going to be structured in such a way that you are not required to watch like this video showing you how to install portainer or some of the other more simple videos if you are comfortable doing that yourself. However, they are being made available if you need some guidance still. Hopefully by the end of the series, you will have learned enough to be able to install containers and services all by yourself and not need me to help you or anyone else for that matter. So if I helped you, consider liking the video and subscribing. Um, I will also have a playlist for the full series linked in the description below. If you're watching this on the day it comes up, there is not going to be anything else in that playlist, but it will be available. So, thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.